Hello and welcome back to the course on data science. Today we are going to find out why machine learning is the profession of the future. So are you excited? I am pretty excited. So let's get started. See you soon inside the course intuition section. Alright, so here we have got a cloud and it's a word cloud and it just illustrates that data is everywhere. We live in the 21st century and wherever you go, this data and in fact, there's even a term for it. It's called data exhaust. You are, uh, day, you are constantly leaving this data exhaust wherever you are, whether it's through your text messages that you are sending or you are going on Facebook or just simply walking through the city, different antenna, antennas are picking you up. You are leaving the GPS data. So you are constantly leaving this data exhaust whether you are aware of it or not. And probably the way to not to leave data exhaust is to go and live in the forest for a couple of days. So that's the reality we live in. And this data is just growing exponentially. It's accumulating all the time. And let's see how this has been happening throughout the history of human race. So here we go. Since the dawn of time, up until 2005, humans had created 130 exabytes of data. So you are probably sitting there thinking, that sounds really cool, but it's very hard to imagine what the heck an exabyte is. And that means nothing to me. Okay, fair enough. So let's go and drill into this to understand what this actually represents. So here we have got a letter A, right? So letter as a single letter and a letter on a computer takes up one bytes of data. Now, if we zoom out a thousand times, we have thousand letters and thousand letters represent about a page on a small book and that fits into one kilobyte. Now, if we zoom out another thousand times, and we have 1000 kilobytes, which is a megabyte. And that is about a book with 500 pages double sided. Now, if we zoom out another 1000 times, we get a gigabyte. And believe it or not, you can fit the human genome onto 1 gigabyte. So, it actually takes about 725 megabytes of space. And you can encode if you think about it. You encode a whole human being on a 1 gigabyte, but you will probably say that you know a human is not just his genome, it's just his DNA, it's also the life experience that he has. You know all the things that he does in his life, you can't put that onto the gigabyte. Well, how about we zoom another thousand times and we get 1 terabyte. Now, if you take an HD camera and you walk around a person for his whole life, so for about 8 years, every minute, every second of his life, and you feel everything he does and you put all of that in the HD video recorder that will fit into 1 terabyte. So that's already getting impressive right now. Let's zoom out another thousand times and this is one of my favorite representations. So, here we have got the Amazon rainforest. It has about 1.4 billion acres of trees. Every acre has about 500 trees in it. So that makes it about 700 billion trees in the Amazon rainforest. So if you take all of those trees and hypothetically, I'm not saying this should be done, but hypothetically, if you are to take all those trees and you are to chop them down, put them into paper, and fill every single page of their paper with letters with the text then you will get about 1 to 2 terabytes of data so that it should give you an idea of how huge a terabyte is now if you zoom out another thousand times that's where you get an exabyte exabyte is a thousand terabyte so now this should be a bit more impressive that since 2000, since the dawn of time up until 2005, 
humans have created 130 exabytes of data and includes everything includes all of the book written all of the songs that we are saying all of the words that were spoken everything that humans have created was about 130 exabytes of data now in 2010 that number was already 1200 exabytes so you can see that in the following five five years humans create so much more data then in next five years in 2015 this number became 7900 exabytes then in 2020 this number is estimated to be 14900 exabytes of data as you can imagine these numbers are astonishing but what's even more astonishing is the growth exponential growth of data that we are seeing and if you visualize it it looks something like this this is the reality that we live in the world how quickly data is growing every single year so this is an actual study it was done by dc and sponsored by emc so this is all researched now what is not research is these lines that i am going to draw now but this is my impression of what is going on in the world this is where i think we have we are as data scientists our capacity to process as data scientists though the data that's in the world and then if you draw the machines this is the line that represent how much of the data machines are actually using that exist in the real world and so where does machine learning come into play well machine learning is the potential that presents a potential to use this data that is not being used only equipped with machine learning algorithms can you step up to that challenge and make sense and add value from the data that is growing so quickly in fact exponentially and that is why machine learning is actually a degree which is being taught at the university welcome back guys throughout this course i will be sharing my intuitive understanding of machine learning with you and uh, i will be sharing my practical skills and applications i learned through my real world experience in applied machine learning so i really hope you are going to enjoy this course and we can't wait to see you throughout the classes i'm sure by now you are pretty excited about what's to come and you totally should be because what we will be presenting in this course is the cutting edge of data science and machine learning. Can't wait to see in the next tutorial. Until then, enjoy machine learning.